Hello, today I'm going to be doing the belt assembly, attaching it to the air plate, drop boxes and popping the holster on. So if you look down, I've already pre-prepared some of the holes just to save waffling on the video a little bit. So first stage, get your ab and your belt. You want to find your halfway point of your belt here. You can mar marry up to this halfway hole here. So this is half of the belt, half and half, and half of the belt there. So can't go wrong with that one. Then basically you want to drill your other 3.5 mil holes there. Just about halfway across this again. And mark them across onto the belt. Halfway for width, halfway to the width. That's ready for our single cap rivets. That can go on in a minute. Uh, we want the top of the belt. So uh, looking at it. We want it this way around here, so that'll be top. I'm going to put a little top mark in there so we don't get confused. So we're going to have the uh, the Velcro on the inside, and that'll, that'll be the overlap. So my left hand will overlap to the right. Okay, so we've got our holes popped in through there. We also want to do the connection to the ab with these little poppers. If you look down here for a second, we're using these 15 mil poppers here instead of the standard ones. So uh, we want to know where they are as well. So we've got our, our end holes there, which are going to have the single cap rivets. They're all there, single cap rivets, which get covered by these afterwards. So these holes here, which do the popper attachment to the ab plate, I put these in the center of these two uh, sticky up bits in the belt. So that's where we're going to be popping those. Once you've got the belt marked up, just use a belt punch just to punch all your holes. I use a 3.5 hole punch like that with all those. Then you can transfer this across to here. So you need to set that up, bearing in mind your belt's gonna be about 15 mil, 12, 15 mil higher than this. So we want that just covering those buttons slightly. Not, not a great deal, you don't wanna cover over the buttons and you don't wanna be hanging below, so about there. So when you've got that all happily set up, you need to transfer those two holes in there. So we're working on the center line. This has got a center line completely down it. But uh, RS and TM stuff are like the originals that have got slightly offset. So you'll need to work to the center of the width here. So basically when you've got your these two little holes there, marked off in there, you're going to punch these poppers in. I've already done that one. So this one is just one of these. So we're going to put a popper base through there. get a little popper top you need the correct popper tool which is one of these little bunny punches and we're just going to hammer that home so now we've got our two ready to take the belt on that so that can go aside now don't need that anymore all right so now we've got our belt here and we need to attach the canvas to the plastic. But before we do that, we want to do our little drop boxes because they want to slide on first. I've done them again with single cap rivets. This one again, pre-done. But when you get this set up on there, you want to loop, loop your elastic over, get it all dry assembled from the back. And they just want to be, just so that they touch the bottom edge here and they're going to line up with the outside. So get your loop set up, your, your uh, single cap rivets about 25 mil down-ish. So again with these, just going to punch these in. So we're going to get them popped in beforehand. So that's these little little single cap ones here. I'm going to pop them on. Get them lined up in there. And give them a whack. They're all ready. And when they're on, we can just glue on the outer outer piece onto that. So, and get our belt set up. Going to get our drop boxes 
slid on into place. Now we're going to set up this. We've got film on that still, so we'll get rid of that. Right. Now we're going to go with these little single cap rivets again. Through from the back of the belt. These will hold themselves in their place before they're punched anyway. So... I do apologise, I best get these other halves of the uh, ab connections put on, otherwise we're not going to get to it. So scratch that a second. Right, we want these parts next, do apologise. So we're going to pop these in. So using our popper tool. We're going to attach these. Get the right little punch for them. So that's popped on like that. And the same for the other one. Alright, so they're on now, ready to go onto the app. Right. Where were we? Alright, let's do these again then. So, single cap rivets. Check we're still up like we were before. One more, just make sure those drop boxes are inside those when you pop them on. So last head on that. I'll just give these a whack with a hammer. Doesn't matter about the heads because uh, they're going to be covered with those little, these little things afterwards. There's one. That's it. So they're attached nicely there, and like I say, all we're going to do is get some E6000 and stick those three straight over those, so nice and square, and just leave them to go off. But we won't bore you with that. So there again, the drop boxes are ready for the faces to go straight on there. They'll just pop over there like that. As you can see from the rear, they'll just go on out the outside here. And sit just outside there. So that's a good place for those. So that belt's all done now, apart from that little glue and bit we just went through. Now we've got the holster. You can get these lovely holsters from Clive at ISD. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to come along about 20 mil to the first hole then the width in between there so just offer your, your belt up so that there transfer it across there going to come up about 15 mil here yeah and then from the bottom of these tabs here we're going to mark a little pencil line there 25 up and obviously we've come up 15 mil there, so 25 and then 15. And again, with our punch, we're going to punch some holes in there. So the holster is going to clip on from the back. So what we need to do is to get our ordinary 15 mil poppers. And we're going to pop these through here for our connection. So what have I done with my popper tool? There it is. So, so 
one. So that's ready to pop on. Notice this is a uh, stunt, so it only has the two. Hero have four. And for this stage of it, we're going to use these rivets with the other half of the popper. And we're going to popper them straight through. So go through there. So that's popped on there and into the back. Same with that one. Just go straight through, straight onto my 15 mil popper. And that's it. One belt already. So That will pop onto there. Drop box tops on, glued on. And glue those on. Sorted, ready to wear. Thank you.